Mr. Damien, I have Mr. Mailer at the SEC on line four. Hey, Leonard. How's Mary and the kids? Judy's fine, thanks, but I'm still recovering from the 2116 beating you gave me on the racquetball court. 2113. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Listen, your boys are giving my client, Peyton Securities, headaches. No, you're right, nightmares, but can you make them go away? Uh huh. No, no, I understand. It won't happen again. Because I said so, Len. Good. I owe you one. Okay, two. But listen, in the rematch this time, I'm playing without the blindfold. Thanks. Bye. Well? The investigation is going to be discreetly wound down. And then the SEC is going to issue an order finding that your firm acted in good faith. Jesus. I, I mean, Jack, uh, what are miracles going for these days? Two and a quarter. $225,000 for one minute on the phone? Don't forget I had to lose to Mailer at racquetball. Seriously? Dean, you know I always win. Unless, of course, I decide not to. So, want to play some racquetball? I just love this place. Great food, people watching. John, how come you've never taken me here before? Hey, girls. I haven't seen either of you two here before. The skirt steak is awesome. What? That was nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. Just having a little fun. Everybody knew exactly what was going on. I am not having this conversation. I wasn't hiding anything. They could see my wedding ring. You're ridiculous. You know, you need to lighten up, babe. Stop giving me a hard time. I'm not giving you a hard time. Just drop it. OK, no, see, this is exactly what I've been talking about. I feel like you have me on a leash. I can't help it if girls want to flirt with me. I'm cute. Shit. You and your boys didn't just knock off a 7-Eleven for a roll of quarters. No, you decided to bang it out at a Wells Fargo bank with assault rifles. You fucking dummy shot a cop. Now every badge is in line to put you down like a dog. Can we hurry up? I'm going to be late for a meeting in Beverly Hills. Yeah. You know, if it were up to me and they gave me two minutes and a wet towel right now, I'd personally asphyxiate your ass. But you know what? I'm going to wait till I nail you on murder one and end this story with a bag over your head and toxic shit running through your veins. Sounds like fun. This isn't a fucking game of Tommy Hopscotch anymore, asshole. You're going to die in federal prison. And when they put the needle in your arm, I just want you to know the last voice you're going to hear is me telling you to go fuck yourself. Can I go now? Yeah, but avoid Wilshire. The traffic's a bitch. <laughs>